and welcome to X-Ray Review. This is going to be a quick video about the limbus bone in the lumbar spine. I commonly get asked, is this a fracture or not? So let's review what a limbus bone is and uh, spoiler alert, it's not a fracture. So before we look at a limbus bone, let's review two quick things. One is the ring apophysis. This is the gross center of the vertebral bodies. They're usually seen on both end plates and they'll look like a little fragment in an immature skeleton. And as the patient skeletally matures, this will fuse and you won't see it anymore. The other is a Schmorl's node. A Schmorl's node is a focal invagination of the vertebral end plates and this is typically due to uh, forces from the nucleus being um, you know, forcefully pushed into a weakened vertebral end plate and it can cause a little invagination like that and that's called a Schmorl's node. Now this is the classic example of a limbus bone. At the superior anterior aspect of the L4 vertebral body you can see a well corticated unfused secondary ossification center and again this is from that secondary to a herniation of the nucleus and it kind of pushes through the vertebral end plate and shears off that ring apophysis so a limbus bone should look like a fragment like usually triangular in shape it should be very well corticated it often will have a sclerotic margin and it should be in the expected location of that normal vertebral body corner. This example has two limbus bones, both at L4 and L5. Remember, their formation occurs before the age of 18, uh, but once there, they can be visible throughout the rest of their lives. This is a textbook example of a L4 anterior limbus bone. Here are two more limbus bones at L4 and L5. And note how the fragments are slightly smaller than they would be if they fit perfectly into the vertebral segment. Here's a limbus bone at L3. And remember, these are not fractures. This is where the ring apophysis separates from the vertebral body and, and then is ununited. It's an ununited secondary growth center. It's not a fracture. This case shows a Schmorl's node at L2 and then a well corticated anterior limbus bone at L3. Every once in a while I'll come across a less frequent uh, presentation which is at the anterior inferior or posterior inferior corner. Here are two limbus bones at the anterior inferior L2 and L3 vertebral segments. Over time and with a lot of degeneration, limbus bones can be pretty challenging. And sometimes it's unclear whether it's connected to the bone or not. But remember, x-rays are a 2D image of a 3D object. And if you had cross-sectional imaging like CT or MRI, it would be or can be much easier to distinguish a limbus bone. This patient has two very large Schmorl's nodes at L2 and L3. I don't see an obvious evidence of a limbus bone, but these are the types of patients you want to look out for. It could be very easily seen right here, a small little chunk of bone, and that's where you're going to see your limbus bone. This is a skeletally mature patient with limbus bones at L5, 4, 3, and L2. Again, this is not a kid. This is a skeletally mature patient with multiple limbus bones. Now, up until now, we haven't seen anything of that much clinical importance. A limbus bone may be clinically symptomatic in regards to uh, during skeletal adolescence, if it's a large one, if there is a macro trauma associated with it, 
uh, maybe later in time with degenerative changes. Um, but anterior limbus bones typically aren't a big deal. But this is a posterior limbus bone. And the reason the posterior limbus bone is important is due to its proximity and real estate in regards to the uh, intervertebral foramina, uh, adjacent uh, nervous structures, um, central canal, exiting nerve roots. So whenever there is a posterior limbus bone, these must be correlated clinically and in the presence of any neurologic symptoms, uh, the next step would be advanced imaging such as MRI or CT. And in the presence of a recent acute trauma, uh, this uh, would be emphasized. All right, thanks for listening about limbus bones. Uh, if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please comment below. Uh, any other topic ideas, uh, just let me know. I've got a ton of stuff coming. Thanks.